Okay, from a secret location deep within the YMSL headquarters, we are live with center fielder of one more time. This is Joseph Bubby Baseball Jamal, and I am the commissioner Norman Jamal, and we are here with the famous whiteboard show that we do every year before the last week. In our VIP section, we have world champion from what year? 98. From 1998 Let's go. on Fiddler on the Goof. Fiddler on the Goof. Fiddler on the Goof, world champion. Let's go. Sonny, S I G Gindy, in studio, just making sure that we do all the math right. We need to make sure that we're on the up and up. <laughs> we have crazy standings here. The first thing that Sonny G noticed when he saw us writing the standings was whoa, you have an 11 and 1 team. And then he could not believe. Something that many of us have never seen before. Is that accurate? It's accurate. It's accurate. O and 12. Whoa. Only one time in the 40 year history of YMSL did Whoa. the team end winless. Whoa. And believe it or not, I think we're going to see it this year. Because Rough and Rowdy, who has shown very little heart, specifically in games two, in the second game of a doubleheader, after they lose the first, they've really, really shown that they don't show up for that second game many times. They're facing one more time, maybe Mo Shama, Bub, Ruby, Shalu, and group. And I am predicting a big sweep out of one more time there. Not so bold, not so bold to do that. They've already got swept six times. Um, but the key for today's show is what happens if that actually goes down. So for instance, let's just say for a moment that one more time takes care of business and sweeps. You're looking at a team that's suddenly eight and six. And then it's gonna all come down to what happens between the ones who knock and cold blooded, right? Yep. Now, the ones who knock just split with look out without their starting pitcher. That was a very, very impressive win. They also lost two very tough and competitive games to swimming. They could have won both of those games, believe it or not. They look very good. The question is, what happens, what do you want to assume? What do you think is going to happen? Do you think it's going to be a split? Do you think they're going to sweep? What do you think it's going to be? Well, I think the fact that they got one win last week with John Eliezer and Nathan Kushner mm -hmm. with the two pitchers, for them to get out of there with a win last week. Against a good team. Against a good team. Uh, and now you have Ralph Hannon coming back. They have to be very confident right now. They are playing a very hungry, cold-blooded team. Uh, I'm a little biased here because I would like to see cold-blooded get uh, a win here, obviously, for, for one more time's sake. Um, Make your prediction, buddy. <laughs> I think the ones who knock are going to... I think they have a lot of momentum right now, winning one last week. I think, I think they're going to take care of business. Okay, let's two. assume they sweep. They go to nine and five. Even if Lookout gets swept and falls to nine and five, let's just assume that happens. These two teams played each other and the tie and they split. Obviously, we just spoke about it. They just split last week. They both be nine and five. It goes to run differential. As it stands now, Lookout plus twenty one. These guys are only plus two. But if they sweep, they're going to add to that. If they get swept, that's going to reduce. But you need a drastic shift over here. You need them to sweep and win a game by 10. You need them to get swept and lose a game by 10 in order to bridge this gap, let's say. And then that's the only way the ones who knock could jump look out. The two versus three is really not such a big deal. These two teams play each other in the playoffs anyway. Right, if you want home field, it matters, but it's not such a big deal. What gets very interesting, though, is if... The ones who knock and cold-blooded split because then they would go to eight and six. One more time would also be eight and six, just for up here for a moment. If these two teams are both eight and six, they also split with each other, but look at the run differential and look how close this is. They're plus two, they're plus six. Extremely, extremely close. You have to assume if one more time sweeps that they're gonna add to that, obviously. If they split, they may not add to that. If they lose right, and win a one-run game. Here you're assuming two wins. So obviously the plus six is going to become... At a minimum, plus eight. At a minimum. And there you're assuming 
at least one win, one loss. So that's uh, it could be that, neutral. That's a, that's a neutral. Now, of course, they could win to, the game by to, ten. They'd have to win big. They'd have to win like a ten-one and lose five-four. Now, Sunny G, like why is this so crucial? Why is the difference between the third team and the fourth team so crucial? Because we have reduced playoffs this year. That means the one gets in, the two gets in, the three gets in, the three gets in. And in this case, we're saying it's probably going to be one more time. And then the four versus five have to play one game play on in. Friday afternoon to get in. So the difference between three and four is huge. Crucial. And this can definitely happen. I mean, one more time should definitely sweep rough and rowdy. And I could see cold blooded and the ones who knock splitting. However, that's, the one, gonna, that's gonna be that's gonna be a dog fight. That game. Cold yeah. blooded, ones who knock. That's gonna where's that game? That game is on I, it's on Feynman's for sure. Um cold blooded ones who knock, I believe, is Feynman's East. I think it's at the firehouse. That's a um one. yeah, that's where that game is. Now, that's gonna be a dog fight because these cold blooded guys are tough. These guys are tough. Jack Abadi, Sandy Towell having a crazy, ridiculous year at his age. Another triple last week. Yeah. That one. But you didn't notice right off the bat that these two teams are basically the whole roster of last year's champions. You have the ones who knock. You have Mokas, Shimmy, Joram Mavora. Oh, wow. And on the other team, you have Leo, Leo, Hank, and Raw Dog. And I'm missing a couple of people also. So you have... Wow. You may see another moving tribute like you saw Swimming do with two. for two, two, with two Greens team. You may see another moving. I mean, that was just a touching, beautiful tribute that Swimming did for two, two, with two Greens team Jr. Okay, so that's what's going on up here. Um, did Swimming lock up the number one seed? Probably, because look, they're plus 39. These guys are plus 21. They'd have to get swept. That back to be. Yeah, they'd have to get swept. Um, to fall to 11 and 3. These guys would have to sweep. Lookout would have to sweep. They're playing DX. And they'd have to do a crazy To improve damage. to 11 and 3. And they'd have to make up another 18 so, so runs. That's, so that's not happening. So you got to assume swimming is going to at least win one game. And even if they don't, you got to assume they could score some runs or something. Um, it's very unlikely that the D-backs are going to blow them out in two games. But mathematically, they didn't clinch the number one seed just yet. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, let's switch this back to nine and three, and let's get to what everyone is talking about. Um, we mentioned already that there's a reduced playoff. So there's only five teams making it, and um, out of eight teams, instead of our usual six, right? But it works out perfectly this year because this team is so out of it and have been out of it for the last month and a half already. This team is so irrelevant to the league that... You would never want six out of seven making the playoffs. So now you have basically right. a seven-team league, and five of them make the playoffs. So it ends up working out. I feel like they're not fully in. They got to still that Friday game. Yes. yes. It's like a semi-in. Okay. So now, look at these matchups that we have. The schedule makers, you know, they must have known what was going to happen here because you have these three teams all playing the top teams in the league. One, two, and three is playing the three teams that are tied right now. If you put a line over here. These three teams are tied, and they're playing the top three teams in the league. The Diamondbacks have the toughest draw. They're playing swimming. They're playing Baby Jigger. They're playing uh, Zach Farker, the big three as you coined them. That's a very, very tough draw. But if we know anything about Jeffrey Sacker... He's going to bring it when he's facing elimination, yeah. even on that red mean machine team, which was terrible last year. The last day of the season, three games. he played three games. He lost all three, but it, you can't even blame it on him. He went 14 innings in the third game and lost one nothing in the wow. 14th wow. inning, believe it or not. So you know Jeffrey's going to bring something. I just don't think they're the coming off a, a sweep over Referati. Correct. Uh, the nine-inning game. Yeah. The nine-inning game. These guys actually won three games in a row. They were two and seven. They won the second game against DX, yeah, and then they uh, swept rough and rowdy. So they played some yeah. bad teams, but they're five and seven now. So, yeah. I mean, they may get they may get a little lighter version of swimming. They're really not playing for much. Um, 
But after this past week, hearing from our historian, Sandy Shalom, they may have some extra incentive to be one of those great all-time teams. So I think that's what's going to be motivating them. They want to be up there with uh, the Golden Jets and... Was it Cracker Jacks? Well, you don't want to be the Cracker Jacks. Sorry, Jacks. Cracker Jacks was they the... They lost that 15 and one, but you're right. right. I think that does give them... That's a great point. I think it gives them some extra incentive. I really do. That they want to finish... It, it sounds great, 13 and one. The other incentive that's really great for them is that they're playing JT. And who doesn't want to beat JT in this league? Oh, I mean, yeah. with the remarks that JT made about swimming at the draft... That he said he gave them he graded no every grade. team, Sonny G. He gave every team a grade. I get an A, you get a B, you get a C. He gave swimming an F. Oh. He gave them a public F. And you could tell how good he is at ranking teams. They're eleven and one, he's five and seven. So pre season he made this? Yeah, preseason okay, pre he gave them an F. But you know it happens. It happens. Yeah. So we botched that one, but these guys, these guys are, are pumped up to play JT and to and to try to eliminate JT right now. So, good little sub they, they, They're going to play. They're not the type of team that's going to just hand you. Boy material. They're, they're, yeah. they're, looking to, they're looking to run this through. Let's say they sweep them. Okay? So, that would put the D-backs at 5 and 9. 5 and 9. I'm going over here. Okay. Okay. You have cold-blooded. Let's just say they... Well, well, let's run what you were saying. You were saying you thought cold-blooded... Cold blooded and the ones who knock, you're feeling what there? That's a dog fight. If they split, you're gonna have a tie between your two teams and and you're probably gonna jump them. Therefore, the ones who knock are basically playing. It's basically two it's place it's basically two playoff games. They get to skip this four five game and go straight to the semis if they split, if they sweep. So that's huge for them. Mm -hmm. Um they're hot. I think I really, uh, it's tough to say this. I think they're going to sweep. Oh. I think they are. So and that would also put, so that would also put cold blooded now at five and nine. Right. So now, so they now you have five them and at five and nine. The ones who knock would take the uh, three seed. Right. So they would be playing lookout and then swimming would be playing the winner of the four or five. Right. So now let's see here. So you have two, five, and nine. And one more, one more time would be the four in this case. And now you, you have trying to figure out who's, who's going to be, be the, the five. five. Who's going to be that playing game on that Friday? So in this scenario, I'm letting DX split with Lookout. Yeah, and the truth is Lookout just split with the team without a pitcher. So they're a little, uh, they're, they have a little question mark, even though they are the... Top team. They have a great record at nine and three. Top team. But I don't think they're playing up to their potential. I yeah. really don't. DX, I think, is starting to peak now at the right time. If you watch those highlights from the Deal Harbor game this past week, which was DX and Cold Blooded, you saw DX fighting for their lives in the second game and down in the second game. They would have been four and eight and in a very bad position entering oh, yeah. this week. They came back and won that game. Elliot Saka played great. Michael Cohen played great. Um, they, all, all their role players, Jackie Sutton, the third baseman, got a big hit. He hasn't been hitting. And he hasn't this been year. hitting. I heard he's been fielding great. Fielding but phenomenal. Michael Cohen, I did hear, is now, since we played him a couple of weeks ago, he was still getting his acclimated. Feet wet. Yeah, he was still getting his feet wet. Um, we held him in check that week, but now I hear he's, he's turning it up a little bit. Okay, so let's assume that they. It's it, it's wild to think that these three teams, you could have one total win, and that team could get in without even a tiebreak game. If this if, if this if this goes as I'm thinking it's gonna go, DX would just need DX one win. Split, and they I just think need one split. win. They need to get that one and finish six and eight, and then they would be playing one more time in that four or five game. That's exactly scenario. what I think is gonna happen this week. But let's say I'm wrong. Let's say they lose two also, and we have a three-way tie here, right? Yeah, what happens there? Three-way three -way tie. tie. We had and, it last and you year. you can't be eliminated due to... Any tie break. Right. So you'd have to... Even if the D-backs swept both these teams, they'd all be in the same position again here. Because once you have the same record, you can't be eliminated. So now you have to rank these teams, right? A, B, C. So the ABC. A, so now... So now you go to head-to-head. -to -head. 
What the D-backs do against Cold-Blooded? What the D-backs do against DX? That's what you do. All these three teams split with each other, so you throw that out the window. Is that is that is that right? They all split. They all split. So now it goes to uh, run, run. What run differential against the whole league. People have thought it's run differential against these two opponents or whatever. It's not that yet. That's like the fourth or fifth or sixth tiebreak. But it goes to run differential against the whole league. Look at the stark difference. Wow. The D-backs are the only one with a positive number here. Wow. That's huge. That's huge. This was the Lumber Kings of last year. They got ranked as A. That means, and then B plays C, the winner of that plays A to play the four. So B would play C on Sunday afternoon, right after. Right so after that's the like a 1 p.m. That's 1 figure 12.30, 1 p.m. start. Those two teams would play each other. And then the winner would still have to face JT in order to advance. That game would not be on Sunday. It would have to be midweek on Tuesday or Wednesday or something at 5 p.m. We'd have to figure that out with the two teams. But we'd have to get that game in before Friday because Friday, one more time, is ready to play in the 4-5 game against whoever comes out of this scenario. So we could have the wildest week in history if this all goes down. It could be the most crazy thing you've ever seen because we could have one game on Sunday, another game on Tuesday or Wednesday, and then another game on Friday just to see who's going to play swimming on Sunday morning. Now... I have a question. Go Can for it. any of these five and seven teams get to the three seed? Good question. Could they could they now go seven and seven? Let's assume the ones who knock get swept, right? Because we're saying cold blooded let, let's say cold blooded sweeps this week. Hold on, mate. Let me catch up to you. Okay. So let's let's run a scenario here where one of these could maybe get to a three seed. And now let's run it. So let's go cold blooded sweeps the ones who knock. So now they go to seven and seven. The seven ones who knock fall to, to, to seven and seven. Seven and seven. Now, in the interim, let's leave this matchup out, but we'll assume that one more time either gets swept or only wins one. Let's say right? you go to seven and seven. Let's say you split. Correct, right. So we could also be seven and seven. So by now, the way, you could also have cold blooded. We, they're seven and seven. So now, right, With the Diamondback sweep. They could also be seven and seven, and they could also be seven and seven. So right. Oh wow. So there could be a five-way tie. So let's see. There could be a five-way tie for that team to get that three seed, in which it would have to go by. At that point, you can't go head to head. Here's what you do. Right. Seven and seven, and they would go to nine and five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five-way tie. Right? This is a five-way tie, but you could rank people on tie breaks now because no one, only one team is getting eliminated here. So what do you do in a five-way tie? You take these five teams, right? These five teams, and you have to figure out the head-to-head -head between these five teams, okay? Did you sweep any of these teams one more time? Yeah, we swept DX. You swept the X. And everyone else we split with. Okay. So you're one and one, two and two, three, three and five three. and three. You're five and three against these teams. Let's talk about the ones who knock what they what their record is against these teams. Okay, they, fine. They split against you, so that's one and one. Correct. What they do against the D-backs? They won two. They did. So they have three and one. They're playing cold blooded this week, but we're assuming a sweep right now. So that brings them to three and three. And on opening day, I believe they split. split. So under this scenario, they'd be four and four. Okay? Correct. Okay. Give me the Diamondbacks against these squads. Okay? okay? Just give me the Diamond. What do you do against the Diamondbacks, JT? You split on opening we split. day. And that a miraculous, a miraculous split. Ridiculous. Okay. So I have the Diamondbacks uh, schedule here. What so they what do, do against mean? the ones who knock? Against the ones who knock, they lost two. So look, 0-2. One and three, and then they split with these guys. So two and four, three and five. Okay. Wow. So now you want cold blooded. Yeah. I'm seeing a scenario where you could possibly lose two and get the three seed. So cold blooded. <laughs> cold blooded. Give me, uh, you want the outcome of which game? Cold blooded against the ones who knock. Cold blooded against the ones who knock. 
It's this week. It's this week. We're they're saying they're going to sweep. We're going to say they're two and zero. Oh. Okay. They they split with you, right? Correct. Okay, so that's uh, three and one. What they do against the D backs? They split. Split. Four and two. And D X three. Split. Okay. Wow. Now D X. D X. Against the ones who knock, they split. Against you, they split. Right. Correct. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, against no, D X got swept by us. You swept the X. Yeah, we swept the X. Okay, and they split with the ones who knock. Uh, the ones day. who knock, they split. Okay, Correct. So one and one, one and three, two and four. They're three and five. Okay, in this scenario, bub, we have to figure out who the three is between one mo time and cold blooded. What do you do against cold blooded? Split. You split. It goes to run differential. You're plus six. They're, they're minus, minus thirteen. Do you believe you could lose two games to no. Rough and Rowdy? No. You could we, split. split. You could split with Rough and Rowdy and get the three seed based on this. Unbelievable. Based on this, you get the three seed. Wow. Crazy. You would be the three. We never guessed that. We never guessed that could be. But this is the most important part of the whole thing. Once you're given the three, you are removed from this whole tiebreak. Uh huh. Oh, so that's good for uh, it's good, that's good for DX. It's good for DX exactly because then once you swept we're out. DX. So once you're out of this scenario and you get the three, you reset the whole tiebreak with these four teams. So let's do right, that. So now they would just go to three and three. They would go to three and three. Right. Okay. Against cold blooded, you split. So they would just go to four and two. Right. Three and five would go to. Two, two and, and four. four. Forget you guys for a second. So, so and three and three, right? What were they before? Four and four, I think. Okay, yeah, and they split. So they would go three and three. Okay. So now at this point, it would be cold blooded. At this point, cold blooded would then. Is this possible? It's crazy. Against cold blooded, we're saying they're going to get swept. That's why this is possible. Right. Okay. Cold blooded against the D backs. I mean, the ones who knock against the well, D backs. Well, they swept the D backs. Right. Good. You have that, right? And then they split with DX. And they split with DX. Okay. So they'd be three and three. They'd be three and three. They would be four and two. So there you go. So now they cold would be blooded. In four. And now you take them out of the scenario and you're down to. If, if the ones who knock end up. Not in a even a plane. Let's see. If That's going to be wild. Because if now, they don't even end up in a plane, under this scenario now, you, you you got your four seed and you got your three seed. Now you need a five seed and you have the three way tie. So you need to rank them as A, B, and C. Right. Correct. Right. Because they can't be eliminated on the on the same. I want to see where the ones who knock now go. So now, oh, so now at this point, the ones who knock can't be out of a playing game. They would just have to maybe play that day. I want to see if they have to play that. If they have to win two playing games or one now. Let's see how these three teams would rank as A, B, and C. So once, the ones who knock, the D backs, and D X. Okay. So ones who knock, you want the outcome of how they did against. The Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks. Against, against DX. Against the Diamondbacks, they won two. Good. And then against DX, they split. So they'd be three right. and one. Correct. Okay. Now who do you need? Now the Diamondbacks, you just said they won two, so they'd be one and three. And DX split with both these teams, they'd be two and two. That means, very simply, the ones who knock would be ranked as the A and wait for the winner on Sunday afternoon between the Diamondbacks and DX. What an amazing scenario that is. Right, so they, DX would play the Diamondbacks. The winner of that would play the ones who knock. The winner of that would play cold-blooded. Would play cold-blooded. While you're sitting there, even though you split, you're sitting there and waiting on Sunday to play Lookout. Look out. And what? all that is to wait to play swimming. It's it's crazy to get to that. It's wild, wild, wild scenario. I didn't think of that one. That's a five way tie, where one mo time could lose to Rough and Rowdy. They'd be one in thirteen. That you could lose a game to one of the worst teams and get the three seed. Right. And all, all you're, you're really saying is.
is that, that cold blooded comes and wins too. You're saying that we're going to split, and you're saying that DX won two, correct? Because they're five and seven. Yes. So, 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 I mean, you need so, a lot. You need a lot, but you're saying that DX is going to be the lookout who's really not playing for much. DX is playing for everything. And then in the swimming D backs game, you're saying also that the D backs are going to win two from swimming. It's hard. This is what we do, but this is what we do. Listen, it's possible. Uh, if any, I told you you could lose possible. a game and possible. get the three seed. Anything, I think you got to be prepared. You get to that field Sunday. You don't know what's going to be. You might be on that field at 2 o'clock. You might be planning a game on a Tuesday night and then a Friday and then a Sunday. It's, it's going to be chaos. Now, Joseph, um, the key thing when you're scoreboard watching, which yeah. you don't want to do, but you're going to do it. The key thing when you're scoreboard watching is remember who you swept. Re remember who you swept because the first tie break is head to head. So when you're in a group that's tied with these other teams and you want to be ranked as the A or you want to get the three instead of the four, you have to remember, oh, I swept that team. That's going to elevate me a little bit. So you have to know the team that you swept. Everyone swept rough and rowdy. That, you know, throw that out the window. So far. Most people got swept by swimming. You throw that out the window. But amongst this crazy grouping, you have to remember, oh, okay, uh, you know, uh, the Diamondbacks basically split with a lot of people here. The ones who knocked swept the Diamondbacks, I believe. So that's a big, that's a big difference in the league now. When you look back, like, for instance, your game that you stole – from the Diamondbacks in week one, not only did it have huge, huge ramifications in the standings with win and loss, but in these tie breaks, it's beyond humongous. I mean, it's... Yeah, I mean, we would be just flipped right now. Yeah. Go, going to this week, instead of us being six and six, we'd be five and seven, and they'd be, they'd be in the driver's seat. And just think of this. I'll, I'll end this conversa conversation with this. There's going to be a team that's seven and seven, in this scenario, that is waiting for Sunday, they're already in the semifinals. That could be you. And there's another team that's seven and seven in this scenario, right. called the Diamondbacks, just in this crazy wild scenario, that has to play a third game on Sunday and win it, play another game on Tuesday and win it, play the four or five game on Friday and win it, just to get to where you are. And it's all because that opening day game when Dano was rounding second, rounding third, and scoring. That's the whole difference between seven and seven and seven and seven. It's crazy. Yeah. Now, the odds of this happening, I don't think this is going to happen. Last year, I was all over it. I knew what was going to happen. I sort of think we're going to have a maximum two way tie, one playing game this year. Just the feeling I'm getting, just the way the matchups are. I don't see the D backs beating swimming. And um, I, I see DX having the most success out of all these uh, matchups. Yeah, I think that's a very favorable match. I think the D-backs are definitely looking at the schedule. I mean, they're behind the eight ball right now. Uh, it's just a strength the schedule type of thing. I mean, they, they got to deal with swimming. DX has to deal with lookout. Great team. But also, um, people are questioning them a little bit with last week that they didn't take two. Uh, against no pitchers. I'm also questioning them because they struggled so much against Rough and Rowdy. Yeah. You know? These cold-blooded, the ones who knock, that that to me is such an interesting matchup. Because, it's such a good game. Because if cold-blooded could win that game one, I mean, they could they could be scary. They could they could run the table that day. Um, let's, let's do that. Let's say cold-blooded, we did that just now, but let's say... Yeah, let, let's go where... You want to go split there for a minute? Yeah, let's go split there because we just did them sweeping. sweeping. So let's do where they let's let's try to figure out a scenario for um, let's try to figure out a scenario for the D backs. Did we do D backs at six and eight? You want what do you want the D backs doing? Getting swept, splitting, or sweeping? I mean, you got to think that you need at least six wins. I think. I mean, to have a realistic, I'm sure there's a scenario of five where maybe you got a playing game, but I, I think all these well, yeah, all they, these teams with five got to be thinking we got to win at least one. But you know what? They could all get swept this week. 
and they could all be five and nine. You have a three-way tie at five and nine. It's exactly the record we had last year. Three teams at five and nine. Right. It could happen. It One could hit, happen. everyone knows the rules. Mean Machine and Lumber Kings were all five and nine. Right. So it could happen. But um, Let, let's go to a six and eight. Um, I mean, I is it crazy to do what would happen if, I mean, one more time. If, you you know, got swept? We got swept out. Okay, let's say you got swept. Eight. You go six and eight. Put us into the mix. Give these guys their two wins. Not bad. Um, okay, six and eight, six and eight. Um, you want the... Let, let, let's do a two-way where it's not as a, a more head-on situation. Okay, so give me what the Diamondbacks and DX did. Did they get swept? So I think the Di let's assume Diamondbacks get swept. So they fall to five and nine, and the DX game. Let's say they split. Let's go. Let's go three. Let's go a tie. Yeah. Game. So three. Right, there we go. So six and eight, six and eight, six and eight. So now you had one more time, cold blooded and DX all at six and eight. Good. Your one is solidified. Your two is solidified. Your three is solidified. So the only question mark left is the four five. Right. Correct. But you have three teams. Good. I so, love the scenario. So four. So so. Three teams for two spots, for two spots. Of, a, of a four or five game. So what would happen This can here? definitely happen. All this could, yeah, is, I mean, I mean the play. bold prediction is rough and ratty. Who haven't won a game yet are going to win two. Right. Well, we could we could run this right after this. We could do one more scenario after this where these three teams are all six and eight and see what happens there. Yeah. But, um, but okay, fine. Let's do this for a second, okay? And in a two-way, it's pretty self-explanatory. A two-way, you're really just looking at these numbers. That's it. You're looking at your... You're looking at your run differential. That's that's the key. Okay, so now six and eight, six and eight, six and eight. We have the one, two, three. We're filling two playoff spots here. So, so what you do in this scenario is you take one team out and you give them the four seed. Which teams of these teams will get the four seed? It depends what you did against Cold Blooded and DX. So one more time would be three and one. Who'd you sweep? We swept DX. So they Going back three to three and so that, one. So that would put us at three and one. And you guys would get the, okay, let's see, cold-blooded, split with you guys and split with DX. So that's two and two. So they're two and two. And then DX would obviously be one and three. So very simple. That would be a simple one. You'd get the four, meaning you'd, you're you not out of the woods. You're in the playing game. Playing game. In the four five game. And waiting to see if we're playing cold-blooded or DX. So, so cold-blooded and DX would play that afternoon right. at one o'clock. Uh, and then we'd come back on that Friday. Uh, for the four or five is game. The, the field in that not announced yet for that game, right? The now, Friday, the Friday like the game. four or five game. Believe it or not, Joseph is on the eight furlong racetrack. It's on the racetrack. Racetrack one. Racetrack one. Okay. So so right. So at that point, you'd have one more time playing uh, the winner of Cold Blooded versus DX. That would be great. That would be great. Cold Blooded versus DX would be a. I mean, we just watched that game on Deal Harbor. If we get a repeat of, of how that game went down, that would be an amazing, amazing 1 p.m. game between these two teams on Sunday, just for the right to face Navy I mean, on Friday. A, a, after looking at this now, like, if the D backs could really. If the D backs could win game one for a swimming. I mean that that could really that could accelerate that team. Let's see what happens you have... in your scenario. Let me interrupt you. Yeah. In this scenario of six and eight, six and eight, six and eight, let's make them six and eight also. Let's say they get a game against swimming. And let's put us out of it, because let's assume we're gonna win at least one against Rough and Rowdy. So take your team out of it. So so put us at seven and seven. Okay, fine. And now let's look at these three. So these three are where we started with these three. They're all whether they're all five and nine, they're all six and eight, it doesn't matter. They're all gonna be um they're gonna be the three-way tie, head to head cancels each other out. It goes to run differential, and the D backs have are in the driver's seat there. Wait, because you have four teams, one, two, three, four, right? Mm -hmm. So the head to, all right, the head to head over here. You go to the ABC system. Okay, got it. And got the Diamondbacks would be the A yet again. Correct. They'd yeah. wait for Tuesday night. And these two teams would play each other Sunday afternoon. Winter. Plays so this game would Tuesday. be Sunday. This game would be Tuesday, and this game would be Friday. Friday could be crazy. Have you confirmed the uh, Tuesday? Is that the firm time? That not firm. Fair? Not firm. It's tough. I hope we could get it in. Um, right. But we'd we'll, have to we'll, work with the teams we'll on the Tuesday. The Friday is set in stone. Friday three forty-five. Yeah, everyone's aware Weather of the permitting. Friday. Everyone's got to be there because we announced that when Corona hit and we started when we did. Playoffs are going to be heavy on Fridays this year. I mean, 
We don't love it, but it's what we got to do. Yeah. Okay. Let's um, let's say these three teams all sweep. They all playing for their playoff lives, and they all show up and win in a major way. Okay. Let's see what the standings look like when they're all seven and seven. You guys also Let's sweep. Assume we sweep too. So now you have that. And Four eight. sweeps. Four sweeps. Right. Right. Okay, forget these guys down here. They're irrelevant. Which but is, if they sweat, which they seem crazy. Right. So if they sweat, it means the ones who knock are seven and seven. Right. These guys are nine and five. Correct. These guys are eleven and three. You now have a four-way tie. Right. One, two, three, four. Correct. For three spots. You'd be the three seed again, um, and then you jump over these guys, and you have two spots remaining. Ones who knock: Diamondbacks, Cold-Blooded, DX. We didn't do the scenario yet. We did a five-way tie. This is a four-way tie. Just help me with the ones who knocks record against these three teams because we know they all split against each other. The ones who knock, uh, I'll tell you right now, they swept the D-backs. Okay. Okay. Hold it. They swept the D-backs. So D-backs are one and one, two and two, two and four. Okay. What did they do against Cold-Blooded, the ones who knock? They're playing this week. We're assuming Cold Blooded will sweep them, which means they are two and zero, oh, three and one, four and two against these teams, right? Um, D, what did the ones who knock do against DX? Split. They split, so they'd be three and three against these teams. And then we said the ones who knock swept one of these teams. They Correct. swept the Diamondbacks, but we're saying they're gonna get swept by Cold Blooded. That's two and two, two, and then they split, so they're three and three. So in this scenario, a four-way tie, the ones who knock, Diamondbacks, Cold-Blooded, and DX, it's actually Cold-Blooded. Cold-Blooded, you could win two games on Sunday. You come to the field this Sunday, you win two ball games against Ralph Hannon and the ones who knock. Guess what could happen? If the other games happen in your favor... Guess what ha could happen? You could be the four seed and we'll see you on Friday. Right. They'd, they'd be waiting for the Tuesday game. Right. They'd be waiting to see the outcome of the Tuesday game and play Friday. Right. And then you reshuffle with these three teams. The ones who knock, the Diamondbacks, and DX. And you figure out which two of those are playing a, on Tuesday. And, C. and we already said that the, now, the ones who knock would be the A team there because they swept... The Diamondbacks. So they'd be the A team because they'd be... Right, they'd most likely be the A. Yeah, because you take away that sweep, they'd go to 3-1 and one against the remaining teams. They'd go to 1-3 and three against the remaining teams. They'd go to 2-2 two and two against the remaining teams. These guys are out of it now. They're the four. So now you'd have the ones who knock waiting for Tuesday. And you'd have these two teams... Diamondbacks and DX playing on Sunday afternoon in this wild four-way tie scenario. I think the bottom line is <laughs> anything can happen. Anything could happen. This year with it's crazy what can happen. There's only one week left. You I mean you literally have uh seven seven teams uh in the running this week. And eight teams are playing for something. Yeah, you know, everyone's everyone's playing for something. That, that's great because you're right. Rough and everyone's rowdy. Everyone's playing for something. You got to assume they're going to show up. Yeah, I think so. I, I would like to think if I was the first guy or the 12th guy or any guy in between on this team, I would show up with a passion for 14 innings this week. Not for seven, not for two, not till I'm losing four nothing. I'd show up and play my guts out to win a game. You got to assume... If they've ever played sports before or if they have pride, they'll at least try. You lose, you lose. It happens. But and it has happened. And it could happen again. But and you're playing maybe. So you underdogs. We understand that. But at least show up and try. And a lot of the guys on the team will. I mean, if you know the if you know the guys on the team, if you know the, you know, Sonny Shalom is gonna show up, Saul will show up. Mikey is going to be on the mound. We know yeah, this. Yeah, in the end of the day, it's a softball game and anything could happen. Anything could happen. Okay. So Everyone is playing for something, but what's funny is you know this team is out. You pretty much are sure this team is the one and this team is the two. So you would think knowing that three out of the eight teams are basically settled, for the most part, odds are, you, would, you wouldn't think there could be this many scenarios, but there really are. 
So these five teams are playing for their lives on Sunday morning. The ones who knock, one more time, the D-backs, cold-blooded, and DX. I can't wait. It's going to be an unbelievable morning. We're starting at, what time are we starting? 8 a.m. 8 a.m. That's early, Sonny G. Whoa. That's very early, 8 a.m. Why? Because all these scenarios, all these scenarios, we're probably going to have a third game on Sunday. If we don't, you'll all be home by 11 a.m. Everyone will be uh, more than happy I think. I think more than likely you will have a game that, yeah. that day. I mean, there's just too, too many teams with the same record. We drew out too many scenarios. There's going to be a game. Last minute of the show. Give me your predictions on these matchups. Forget what the implications are. Just give me your predictions. Swimming versus D-backs. Uh, swimming two. Okay. Swimming sweep. Look out, DX. A.B. Saka, Max Sutton. I think that DX is going to sweep. DX is going to sweep? Yeah. Wow. I think they're going to sweep. It's a bold one. but I, That's I, I, I think, interesting. I think they're going to do it. Ones who knock cold-blooded. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with a split. You said dog I, I, fight. I, I said dog fight, and I was and in, in the first scenario. I had cold blooded as the sweep, but I, I do think it's gonna be a split. Okay, you want to do your game, or you don't want to touch it? I'm not gonna touch my game. Okay, I'm gonna leave it be. Let's just go with your scenario just quickly, okay? Because I don't think we had DX sweeping and nothing else crazy happening. Okay, if DX, if DX sweeps, right? They become. Seven and seven. Cold blooded, you said splits. Just to make it simple, just put a sweep for us. They go to six just and eight. Just put a sweep for us. All right, you're going eight and six. The ones who knock, you said a splitting. They go eight and six. Diamondbacks, he's saying getting swept. They go five and nine. You're predicting this scenario. Yeah. Okay? You're predicting. A two-way tie for the three and the four, which is going to come down to, to that. runs. It's this was the first scenario that we mentioned today. Yeah. It's going to come down to how you sweep and how they sweep and how yeah. they split. It's crazy. Yep. They could split and win a game by 10. You could sweep and win two close games, and you could you could fall because you of could that. Fall. Right. Crazy. It would come down to runs wow. there. And, and then what would happen below here? And then you'd have DX would get in without a tie break. They'd get in without a tie. Well, they get they get into the sweeping lookout. They get into the four five game. Yeah, they'd be the five. Correct. And you would not in this scenario there would not be a game. On this Sunday. scenario you're home at eleven a.m. This game. This scenario you have either the one to knock or one more time playing DX in the four five Friday game. Wow, wow, and that's what I think is going to happen. That's your prediction. That's what I think is going to happen. Wow. I, I don't see the Diamondbacks beating swimming, and I don't see. The um, I also have the D backs getting swept, right? I have the ones who knock sweeping, that's the difference. I have them sweeping, I have them going to nine and five, which means that cold blooded falls to five and nine. And I have Max splitting with look out, which so, means so they go to six and eight, and I have you sweeping, which means you go to eight and six, which means it's easy. It's not you don't even need a tiebreaker here, you go one. Two, three. Friday game is four, right? Five DX again. Not only do you not need a tiebreak game, you don't even need to look at head to head or anything. Everyone has a different record here, so um, interesting. Okay, so these are our predictions. These are our scenarios. There's so many others. Everyone, get your YMSL branded. I think uh, the, the key is that everyone home. knows. Everyone knows how to do it now. You could run around a million scenarios. But everyone knows that how important the runs are. Obviously, the record. Joseph, did you run. put an infinity sign at the run differential of? Uh, looks like you did. Run differential of rough and rowdy. You did minus infinity over here. Um, that's a fifty run run differential. I've never seen that before. <laughs> um, but Joseph, thank you for your time. I hope we got the numbers all right. Who knows? If we didn't, we'll figure it out on Sunday yep. because uh, we'll, have the, we'll have the results. We'll have the results after we play all 14 games. We will see you all on Sunday. This has been the YMSL Whiteboard Show with Sonny G, Joseph Jamal, Norman Jamal. And we'll see you on Good the Good luck fields. to everybody.